Hello friends, today we are going to see the demo on the Snowflake Identifier first login and if you have not seen my blog on Snowflake Identifier first login, I would recommend you to please have a look into that because I have captured the three part there. So <clears throat> let's move to the demo first. So this demo is somehow related with the authentication policy. So if you have not seen the authentication policy blog or the demo i would recommend you to please have a look so identifier first login is the enhancement on top of authentication policy so the base or the heart of this identifier first login is authentication policies but identifier first login is uh, is an improvement on top of or i would say like the coexistent feature which help and uh, the authentication policy uh, to make the life easier for the end consumer so how does this make uh, the life more easier is like uh, when you work with authentication policy it blocks uh, the user for to do the login from certain ways like if you want to control the way how end consumers should log in whether they want to use a snowflake web ui or they want to connect uh, you want you them to connect using snow sql or any other method right so that way you can block them or control them using authentication policy but for the consumer they will not able to understand so how you can do is like if uh, how snowflake uh, help uh, enable the user experience is by enabling the identifier first login so snowflake always prompt for either the username or the email id you have to provide and based on the username or id you provide it will look for the authentication method applied for that particular user and if nothing was applied on the user level it look for the account level and get default from there and then give you the required or the eligible uh, login met method on the screen on the or on the cli so say example if i have only allowed a particular user to connect using web ui so if they try to connect using snow sql they will not able to connect so that that means like they have to go and connect to the web ui and vice versa so let's see to enable this we have to just alter one account level parameter which is enable identifier first login and we have to mark this parameter as true so i'm just going to uh, use the same existing uh, details of authentication policy db and demo and i'm just going to enable this enable identifier first login to true let me just quickly go and see whether it has been set properly or not so you can see the false is the default and we have set it to true now we will quickly go and uh, let me just quickly open an incognito mode so that we can try this so now you know that we already had applied the uh, account level and user level policy on our previous demo and let me just quickly go here and you can see that the now password will get removed only username will be prompted on the screen so let me just quickly see so now you can see that only it's only prompting me for username and not for the password and if you have seen my previous example it was asking for username and password both so let me just quickly grab the name and then quickly grab the path okay I, I remember the password so now it's asking me to provide the password because uh, regardless whether it's a web UI or uh, snow, snow, snow SQL uh, both are I have allowed both using the password and because of that reason it's asking me for the password but here it, it will block me so the moment I will provide the password it will block me because I, the authentication client I have chosen is no SQL not the web UI for user Raji so it says like authentication attempt rejected by the current authentication policy but it will be more uh, relevant if instead of password i have used the idp uh, like the azure ad to use to connect using the <coughs> sso method so instead of that it will give me the sso login so even if you have multiple sso so example you have multiple sso and you want to give a preference for the user that you should log in only using this sso so that also is possible with this uh, with this then uh, whatever authentication policy you have set for that particular user at the moment you enable this feature it will only allow you to connect using and uh, one of that which you have chosen as a primary one 
so it will not prompt for you to connect using other authentication policy even if you have multiple idp set up for the particular user so now it's now not allowing me so hopefully it will allow me on the command line so there is no difference on the outcome because i have i, I don't have the idp set up at the moment in my current laptop oh let me just quickly try to connect and hopefully it will allow me so it says like fail to connect to db this incorrect use okay i think i have provided the wrong password let me just quickly provide the correct one so now it's allow me to connect so i provided the wrong password so so outcome looks same but then the behavior will change if you have uh, chosen something different than the password so then you will see the difference between the uh, web ui versus uh, snow sql hopefully you like this demo and if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel thank you